Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time for another Monster Bass Unbagging and today we're going to be going over April 2021's bag. I've already opened this one up and in my opinion, I believe this is one of the better bags that they've put out over the last uh, several months. Looking uh, very forward and anxious to getting out on the water and trying uh, all these baits out. And if you like this kind of content, I'd also like uh, to encourage you to uh, check out my uh, Monster Bass versus Mystery Tackle Box Elite uh, video series. I'll leave a link up above to that playlist. But uh, in it, I'm doing a year-long comparison between the two services. And uh, it might be something good to check out if you're on the fence about which service you think uh, might be best for you. And this is actually the midway point of that comparison. This is going to be month six of the 12 month uh, comparison between those. And like I said, if you're on the fence or if you like this kind of content, I believe you'd enjoy those videos as well. And as always guys, I'd like to tell you, I really appreciate everyone for watching these videos. It really means a lot to me. And if you like this type of content, please, by all means, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave some con comments down below, and uh, please uh, spread the word. And with that being said, guys, let's roll that intro and dig right into this month's bag. Okay guys, we're just gonna dig right into this month's bag and I'm gonna try things a little differently this month and try to make these videos a little shorter, combining the commentary that I usually do at the end in with the uh, when I'm showing the baits and hopefully make these videos a little shorter. And with that being said, uh, I've got everything already laid out here on the table. So let's just dig right in. Uh, first of all, we've got the literature and I will have to give Monster Bass a thumbs up this month. Uh, I double checked the MSRP uh, on this month's bag was uh, $50.29. I double checked this online and I was pleasantly surprised that they didn't have any overinflated prices this month. So uh, kudos to them for that. And with that being said, I'm just gonna go down the list here and we'll talk about each bait and uh, you can make your own conclusions if this was a good bag or not this month. The uh, first bait is the B8 Labs Surface Slammer. I was very excited when I saw this bait uh, in the bag uh, this month. I love uh, topwater fishing, especially walk the dog type baits, and uh, that's what this is. And what I really love about it, it's still got the weight. It's a half an ounce. It's three and a half inches long. And uh, if you've watched any of my uh, fishing videos, for the most part, I'm going to say 90% of the time, uh, I'm bank fishing and I'm fishing small ponds and watershed lakes. And I do have a little scamp that I get out in larger lakes every once in a while when I have the time. But these smaller lures like this are perfect for the type of waters that I fish, small ponds. And I'm not saying that it wouldn't work in a large lake, but just in particular for the small uh, ponds, lakes that I fish, uh, really looking forward uh, to trying this out. And color wise, they're calling this Panic Plum, but it's got a nice iridescent color to it, purple on the tail end nice detail on the eyes and uh, that was a great bait then number two we have the catch outdoors jack slap and this is one that i would have not have purchased this on my own I i'm anxious to try it out it's a tungsten weight gold one third of an ounce just uh, a little bladed jig got a little spinner on the uh, rear very small again I, I 
I think this is going to do well in the waters that I fish and uh, according to the uh, box it's saying that it can be uh, fished with just a cast and steady retrieve or if you're fishing in uh, deeper water you can vertical jig it. So again several different ways uh, to fish it. Another thing that I like about it that uh, I haven't fished with many of these bladed jigs like this but I also like that they have three uh, different line ties and that will help somewhat control the depth when you're fishing this so again this is uh, something I went and bought on my own very interesting uh, bait now third on the list is Lunker Candy uh, Spinner Bait the uh, Spin Master I can never have uh, enough spinner baits, and this is a uh, chartreuse white, three eighths ounce. And I mean, it, this is a great looking uh, little spinner bait. Got a silver and gold blade. Oh yeah, super sticky sharp hook. Like the detail on the head. So that's a great looking little spinner bait. Then next we have the uh, Booyah Prank. Again, this is another one that uh, I was excited to have. I've got several of these uh, in my tackle box already. And the uh, claim to fame uh, for this it's a dual purpose bait if uh, you haven't used these before it's a uh, basically a shallow running basically like a square bill crankbait and popper combination you can fish this either way it's got the uh, cupped front that you can fish this like a popper or you can steady retrieve it and it's got the little uh, crankbait bill here and uh, it might go uh, one feet under and it's got a pretty decent little wobble I've caught fish with this uh, both ways again I, I was real happy and this is my favorite color this is the bone color bone shiner excuse me and uh, I love uh, most of the topwater baits that I get, if they don't have a feathered uh, treble, uh, I usually put one on. I'm a big fan, and I usually get red uh, treble hooks, and, and they also included some of those in this month's bag, so then that's another plus. But this is a great little bait. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's a dual purpose, and it works well both ways, as a popper and uh, a shallow uh, crankbait, but uh, really love these baits. Then next we have the Deep Creek Lures Carolina Shad. And this is a lesser known, not a mainstream bait company. And uh, I really like getting behind uh, smaller companies like this and uh, I'd like to commend Monster Bass on trying to include at least one of these in every uh, bag and I know some people uh, may be against that. Uh, me personally, I'm all for it. But that being said, this is their Carolina Shad in the Wrath color. And it's basically a fluke style bait. And again, if you've watched any of my past videos, uh, I absolutely love fishing uh, with fluke style baits and uh, this is going to be something that uh, I will definitely try out and from, I mean I think it's going to be great. I love that tail. It's going to have some tremendous action. So looking forward to using this and I actually went to their website and uh, checked out some of their other baits. and. Uh, if you haven't, I, I really recommend uh, checking these guys out. They've got a lot of uh, cool stuff. 
Deep Creek uh, Lures from North Carolina. So love those. I'll definitely get some use out of those. And then next we have the uh, X-Zone Adrenaline Crawl. And I believe these are uh, fairly new. And this is something that I've been wanting to try uh, anyway. Four and a quarter inch crawl stop uh, top bait, excuse me. But one thing that I, that caught my attention on these, I don't know if it's showing up that well on the camera, but these have huge flanges on the claws here. So I'm assuming, I haven't watched any videos on these yet, but I'm just assuming that these are going to have a tremendous uh, kicking action to it. And another thing that I like about these uh, X-Zone lures is their, uh, excuse me, floating claws. And so this, me personally, I'll either use this uh, Texas rigged as is, as a jig trailer, and it'll work great as a jig trailer. As I love all this X-Zone stuff because the claws float. So if you're dragging the long bottom, it's going to be a great presentation. And uh, another thing that I'll probably use this in some places in re uh, replacement uh, from my uh, Strike King Rage Bug. Use this on a swinging uh, jig head. That's probably, uh, I'll use this mostly on uh, that setup. But again, that's a, another great bait that I was, I've been wanting to try out anyway. Then next on the list, we have the uh, Thunderhawk Hybrid Diver. And it's a little three pack swim bait. And it looks like it's got two pre-rigged and one spare body. And this color is Jumbo. Sticky sharp hook. Again, I like the smaller profile of this. This is going to do very well in the uh, waters that I fish. So, again, they give you two pre rigged, and then you have one uh, spare body. Okay guys, had a little camera malfunction there. Gonna roll back with it. Uh, again, like I said, the uh, Thunderhawk Hybrid Diver. You get two pre-rigged, one spare body. I love the uh, smaller size like this. Again, where I fish, this is gonna be uh, work great. And then last on the list, we have the uh, Mustad triple grip KVD hooks size four uh, three pack again uh, you can never have uh, too many quality uh, treble hooks I'm sure I'm not alone in this I replace a lot of treble hooks on some of my crankbaits and topwaters so these will definitely uh, come in handy and uh, that's basically going to wrap it up for this month, guys. And like I said at the beginning, uh, hats off to Monster Bass this month. They were dead on uh, with their uh, pricing. The uh, new style uh, bag, it's a little thinner, more pliable material. Uh, me personally, I prefer this new bag. I hope they uh, stick with it. And... Uh, I don't know about everyone else, but I'm definitely getting uh, some use out of these new bags when I'm going uh, bank fishing, and I know I'm not going to have a lot of time. I'll throw a little bit of stuff in this, and I'm good to go. And uh, so again, uh, I think this is one of the better boxes that I've received, uh, or bag, I should say now, uh, from Monster Bass over the last uh, several months. Uh, I think they're kind of turning around, going in the right direction. I know I've been fairly critical of them, and I still will be if uh, it needs to be, but as long as they keep doing this, uh, I'll give them two thumbs up. I really like this bag. And uh, with that being said, like I said at the beginning of the video, if, uh, if you like this type of stuff, uh, 
feel free uh, to uh, check out the uh, video series I've got going on comparing Monster Bass versus Mystery Tackle Box Elite. It's a year-long comparison, and this month is the midway point. It'll be the sixth month I've been comparing the two services. So I encourage you to uh, check out uh, that. I'll leave a link to one of those videos up above so you can check it out. And as always, guys, uh, I really appreciate you uh, watching all these videos, especially for those of you that made it to the end. It means a lot to me. Uh, and if you like this type of content, uh, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, leave some comments down below, uh, spread the word. It would really help me out a lot. And until next time, guys, keep those lines tight.